My name is Ryan Beck. I'm a commercial photographer and I'm located in Rancho Cucamonga, California. I've been a photographer for about 30 years and uh, shoot mostly food and product photography. I discovered my love for photography when I was really young. I screwed up a lot of clothes. My sisters were really upset because we shared a bathroom. I made it into a dark room, uh, but uh, got involved in yearbook photography, newspaper photography in junior high, went through uh, high school and just loved every minute of it. In college, I went to Brooks Institute of Photography, and that really was a huge catalyst to kind of launch me into my career because you learned so much of the technical aspect. So my lighting style really depends on the client. It depends on the aesthetic they're looking for and what they're trying to achieve. And it also depends on the product. A lot of times when I'm shooting something and it's stainless steel and it's shiny and sparkly, there's no way I'm gonna shoot that with a hard light. It has to be a soft diffused light. I try to keep it looking realistic and natural, almost like I would say for food photography, 99% of what I shoot looks like it was shot available light through a really large bay window. My goal is to make the food look great and not have any distractions with the lighting. What's ironic about what interested me in food photography is I, I kind of fell into it. I'll never forget, I went to New York after I graduated from college from Brooks, wanting to learn more about anything I could. And the only photographers that would let me in or give me the time of day, interestingly enough, was food photographers. And I thought my, to myself, I'm never gonna shoot food. I can't even cook. I don't even know how to boil water. What's odd is that you fast forward and that's exactly what I'm mainly doing now is food photography. I found out clearly I don't need to learn how to cook because that's what food stylists are for. The, the pinnacle of when that food looked the best, we capture it and then we move on. But I basically think that photographers are challenged when they shoot if they're not prepared and they don't have a game plan of what they're gonna do to execute the best possible photo. What I love about Broncolor is the fact that you have durability, you have incredible flash duration, you have consistent color temperature, all those cliches that come to mind when you think of Broncolor, but they're so true. The precision in which you can control the exposures is a game changer. I used to have to pull back a light a little bit because I'm dealing with a third of a stop. Now I can just go in and dial it in exactly. My favorite piece of equipment, I would say, for sure would be the Para uh, 222 back here. Uh, I love the Para umbrellas because of the fact that you have so much versatility in that one light. I have a ring flash back there and you can control the light to get very specular or very soft depending on where, it is, where that ring flash is placed within the umbrella or the parabolic. It's just super versatile. The other thing that I can't live without is the Move Pack, uh, the portable pack from Broncolor. Um, it is just fantastic. It's a great portable pack. I don't need to worry about power. I can take it on location. I can use it in the studio, but on location, it is just phenomenal. Everything just syncs with my packs here with the Score OS packs. When I bring that in and I incorporate a Move Pack in, in the studio, it works really well. But on location, it's just a must have. I am not a Photoshop guru by any stretch of the imagination. I use it though, I still do a lot of posts, but I try to get everything right in camera. And Broncolor allows me to achieve that, frankly, because there's no color shifts. I used other competitors' packs, I won't bring up names, but they were horrible. When you cut the flash duration in half and you have another power, another strobe that's going at full power, it's a nightmare. You see the color crossover, and um, with brown color, you never get that. And the flash duration doesn't change. I could be photographing something on set that is um, static, and then all of a sudden my client will say, oh, we need to do a shot in a pan showing shrimp being tossed. And I have all the lights set up. I no longer have to worry about whether or not that, that shot's gonna be fast enough. The flash duration is gonna stop the shrimp in the pan. I can just go to the next shot and shoot, and they were like, they're just blown away at the flash duration being so quick to stop all that beautiful motion. When you make an investment in Broncolor, you're for the long term. This stuff just year in and year out, it just continues to work and perform flawlessly. I never have to worry about it. It creates less stress for me. I would tell people who are first starting out as young aspiring photographers is to have a passion for what they do. Love what they do. If, if you're not into it and you don't have the love for it, you're never going to be successful. You've gotta be excited about it. I always try to bring to the table, hopefully a sense of knowledge after doing this for 30 plus years and just the ability to create images that people are going to love. If you keep your clients happy, they'll keep coming back. I try to have an equal enthusiasm as the first day I started and I love what I do.